I, I could see someone, maybe possibly even us, putting together the ability to build an entire chef delivery environment with using Azure, um, Azure Resource Manager. Okay, so dibs. I'm Michael Gibson, Marketing Manager at 10th Magnitude, and welcome back to another episode of the Manhattan's Project. Uh, today I am joined by Corey Wagehoft, uh, who is... Wagehoft. Wagehoft. How would I not... It's spelled... I'm going to put his name here and you'll see. I pronounced it the way it's spelled, but thank you for correcting me. So Corey Wagehoft. Um, who's here joining me to expand on the conversation that uh, Ryan Kelly and I were having last episode about Azure Resource Manager. Now you have sort of an interesting take on, on ARM, especially when it circles around Chef, right? Yeah, yeah, you know, we, we use Azure Resource Manager on a daily basis here at 10th Magnitude and in many different, for different clients in different ways. Um, and a very interesting way to use it is using Azure Resource Manager to, to basically start up your infrastructure and have all of your different configurations and how many servers you need and uh, different sizes of disks. All of that can be done through Azure Resource Manager, which I'm sure Ryan explained. Mm -hmm. The next step to that process is using a, a configuration tool like Chef, Puppet, Ansible, or even or even Windows uh, DSC. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of different ones out there. Here we specifically specialize in Chef. And for Azure, Microsoft is a very big backer for Chef. They're, they're very big fans of it. So they actually have a, an extension for Azure Resource Manager that allows you to very easily configure your machine to talk to the Chef server immediately. Um, it's, it's a very simple extension where all you need to basically give it is some simple information like the location of your Chef server, um, your client PEM key, which if you use Chef, you'll understand what that is. Um, to basically talk and authenticate against the server. From there, it's you can play with Chef just like you normally do. And you can essentially quickly get to a point of doing end-to-end -end configurations and almost push a button and deploy your infrastructure. So it gives you a lot, a lot of flexibility. Excellent. So there was there was a lot of conversation in the last episode about how, how ARM sort of helps with clarity and in, in usage and, and billing because of its configuration utilities. Mm -hmm. Does does Chef empower that? Does Chef enable that? Or is it sort of focused elsewhere? So so is it more about implementation or is it more about automation and transparency of that automation? Well Chef is definitely more about implementation. It's it's designed to once you have all of your, your initial infrastructure automation in place that of course res Azure Resource Manager is going to keep track of all your billing and everything. Um, Chef is basically picking up the ball from there and going further to actually do all of your fine grain um, infrastructure to me, more or less installing all the different packages you need and configurations and it goes further from there. There is a piece of Chef called Chef Analytics that can give you information back about how your servers are final, finalized and configured and that is beneficial but it doesn't tie directly into Azure Resource Manager. Okay. It kind of once you install the Chef extension for Azure Resource Manager, they kind of separate from there, and Chef t picks up the ball. Okay, cool. So, so what sort of project implementation are, are you seeing in joining the two? So currently, um, in, in, a, in a large scale client, we're we're doing a very large scale deployment where the specific needs are to more or less deploy an entire automated environment end to end. Their, their ultimate goal is through continuous delivery, continuous integration of their software platform for continuous integration and continuous delivery for you know DevOps for Chef. Is the goal is to basically once all of our automated tests and everything passes and everything looks perfect, that their uh, you know a deploy system or a build system kind of like Jenkins for example is mm -hmm. what they're using, can then start the process with Azure Resource Manager to start up this infrastructure in the configuration that they specifically need for their customer. Okay. And then Chef will pick it up from there and configure everything, put their application in place. So hopefully the point that they can literally press a button and within a f a several hours later, they can have their entire infrastructure and application in place. When I say several hours, it's because um, you know, their environments are much larger than the average customer. Right. Um, you know, their, their large scale environments are anywhere probably around 
think around 20 to 25 servers. And then you have to go install all the configurations. And anyone who's worked with Chef for a while, that takes a long time to do. Um, but it is consistent and it's very, very good for the client, for our client and then also their customers. So they can quickly start up environments and move their product to the customer much faster. So even with the length of time that that takes b between Chef and ARM, is it, is it still faster than, than other configuration utilities would be? Or, or, or are you sort of like keeping about the same timeline but improving reliability? Is there a trade-off with well, this? I believe you know, most people that are using um, ARM are, you know, you get the base configuration and then you have infrastructure professionals that will go in and configure the servers manually. Mm -hmm. in most cases. So this is how we get the best of both worlds that we can start up multiple servers in parallel so that you're not, you know, you're not sitting there configuring one server and then getting everything taken care of and then go down to server two, three, four, X, you know, X number. You can actually start up 10 or 20 at the same time. And once they finish the configurations, then they'll go do all the detailed configurations via Chef. So it is, in my opinion, it is much quicker um, in the specific implementation for our client, it's just because their application is, is that large and that complex for their um, dependencies. Awesome. Well, you're you're re you're relatively new hire here at uh, at Tenth Magnitude, so I'm I'm curious what sort of amount of experience you had with ARM or Chef prior to coming on board. Um, Azure ARM, I actually had very little to no experience with. Um, it's something picked up pretty recently once we once I started here. Um, my background is a lot with um, Amazon Web Services, actually. I have a very big background with that, but I've also always had a big interest in Azure because it's, you know, it's, the next, it's another big player in that space. Um, Azure ARM, once, you know, once I got a hold of that, it was very easy to pick up and understand once you understand the mechanics and what Microsoft is trying to accomplish with it. Okay. Um, Chef, you know, I've worked with many different configuration tools. I've worked with Puppet, Chef, and Ansible over the years. Um, so it, it's a little bit difficult to say how many years directly. It's kind sure. of played with them all. Yeah. Okay. Um, any any fun components of, of ARM or Chef that you specifically are a fan of, like that that maybe don't necessarily have to do with your current client work, that but that you found and have sort of enjoyed tinkering under the hood. Well, currently I'm, I'm very interested in Chef Delivery, which is a very new product that they're coming out with. Um, it was within the last month or so, right? Yeah, yeah. They, they've been doing a lot of webinars on it and really trying to uh, get the community to understand what it is mm -hmm. and, the, and the benefits of it. And I've, I've seen a couple demos. I've played with the product a little bit. And it's a very, very interesting product for continuous delivery. It can really, and it's not, the beauty of it is it's designed to not just handle your infrastructure, um, which Chef is great about infrastructure as code and, and doing you know automated tests and everything. Chef Delivery is also designed to work with your application tests as well. So it can run all of your automated tests for your application and your infrastructure, and then slowly as you move down the pipeline, it will put them all together and run multiple layers of tests so that by the time it makes it to production, you are 100% sure that it's going to work in production no matter what. And it's, it's a complicated product, but it's very, very interesting. It's interesting to see where the whole space is going, um, co you know, combining continuous integration for application development and continuous delivery for infrastructure development. Cool. So, so where do you see ARM and, and Chef moving forward? So, I mean, ARM version two just came out, right? Just recently, about yeah. the same time as Chef Delivery. Uh, well, it, Azure V two actually, it's our ARM V two is um, was somewhere around May, I believe, was the initial preview for it. So okay. it's been out about half a year. It's been out. Oh, okay. um, Delivery Chef Delivery just really came out of preview about a month ago. Okay. Um, and I believe it's now completely generally available for everyone. So it's going to be interesting how that can work together, um, even using ARM to build a chef delivery environment. Um, currently, they don't have that ability, but uh, I, I can see someone, maybe possibly even us, putting together the ability to build an entire chef delivery environment with using Azure um, Azure Resource Manager. Okay, so dibs. Dibs. We're, we're going to call dibs on that. We're going to put that I mean, together. for all you know, we're already working on it. You never know. I don't know if we're working on that. Actually. Can't really tell you, otherwise I'd have to kill you. That's fair. That's very fair. Um, all right, so so anything else on those you wanted to touch on? I mean, this has been really illuminating in sort of like a very compact amount of time, but there's there's a lot of info that we've gone over. There, there's a, a lot of things moving very quickly in the infrastructure market, especially around Chef, and then also with the advances forward that Azure has with Azure Resource Manager. It's, it's really helped um, teams truly build continuous delivery environments from 
um, working from bare bones all the way out to production. It's a really exciting time right now in the, in the DevOps space. And uh, I mean, who knows where we're gonna be in another year from now. So I'm, I'm curious, do you have sort of a dream implementation of one or these, uh, one of either of these or, or both together? Like is there, is there an, uh, an infrastructure that you're familiar with that you just look at or you've seen or you've heard about that you think, man, if I could only get my hands on it, I could, I could just completely transform how that works and, and make it more efficient? Well, honestly, I think we're really close to being there already. In my opinion, um, with a lot of the tools, with Azure Resource Manager, with Chef, and then now Chef Delivery, you can really, and then there's a lot of other components with Chef that are just coming out, called like Inspect, um, you have Chef Analytics. A lot of those different platforms as they're tying together closer and closer are really kind of bringing everything full circle. Okay. Um, so I can't really say what the, what that ideal environment is because there's always so many different challenges sure, out there. Sure. But the overall ease of use for a lot of different situations, I think we're getting very close to having that now, especially with Azure Resource Manager Excellent. and Chef together. Awesome. Well, Corey, Corey Waggyhoff, <laughs> uh, thank you so much for, for taking some time and thank sitting down with me, me and, and really enjoying your Manhattan IC. It's um, five o'clock. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, so thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. <laughs> Cheers, thank you. See you next time.